Rob Feiler, bass player for Wild Boys. Let's check out your rig. What would you like to know? Talk us through it. Well, we've got a, this, uh, this here is called a bass guitar. So it takes care of the low frequencies of the band. Uh, I've got it because I like the colour, really, what do you reckon? It's got a, anyone that's observant, they'll see there's five string ones, it's got four. Yeah, so, uh, and unusual frets on that compared to most yeah, bass, oh, what's yeah, that all about? That's what you refer to as uh, fanned frets, uh, which actually are not that hard to play at all because obviously when you're holding your hand in the bass, your hand is at your uh, fan, so therefore it gets a little bit tricky up here, but I don't play there anyway, so not really a problem. So that's my uh, me axe of choice. It's got a big gun in the middle there. Um, and the signal flow, how does that go? And then, well, I was actually going to show you something else, as we're talking about frets and what have you. This one, on the other hand, instead of um, this one, instead of fans frets, you look very carefully. Okay. You'll see it doesn't have any frets. So they're, they're, they're lined to give you a clue, but you have to be very accurate. You have to play on and then on the frets an rather than between on a conventional bass. Then we need to achieve. You see. Mm. So if you bring so yeah, this is a, a relatively new acquisition. Yeah, works quite well for. Uh, you'll see it's got yeah. two batteries in the back for the active, active circuitry. So uh, gives you more you control on, over the um, the sonic stop. spectrum, if you like. Okay. So that's that's uh, the uh, second. Right, I like the height. Yeah. So we agree on that. Then I need the men. You just think we got one voice really louder than the main voice there. I think to be over when this you're doing, a bit more. When you're doing it, let's hear. Well. The key okay, is to uh, yeah, be quite organised and have plenty of spares and then, things. So if you uh, walk this way, we have one getting taken in. So yeah, but if we can, uh, you'll see that we have the uh, the gig bag with all the. Possible things you might need. Shreddies, cocoa pops. Oh yeah, they, they are. In actual fact, they are. I've repurposed them. They are actually cereal boxes, but they're also very good for putting leads and what have you inside. That's that. Gives the bag a bit of rigidity. Very ingenious. Yeah, indeed. And then um, where the uh, sound comes from is basically this is my my amp setup. I plug my bass into wireless setup which gives me freedom on the stage. Um, I can actually go out to the audience if, if the, uh, the mood suits me. That then plugs into my app or the pedal board. Uh, tuner, compressor, Octaver and DI stroke overdrive pedal. That's then straight into my amp. That then goes DI straight into the PA and uh, enables it to be um, amplified throughout the uh, venue. That's pretty much pretty simple. Sounds so, uh, cool, Rob. Straightforward than the guitarist setup, I should imagine.